BIM is an acronym for Building Information Modeling. The term has been used for many years and was originally focused primarily around 3D models and the associated data. But today this has matured to describe the wider information management process across the life cycle of a built asset. BIM is really hard to define. It means so many things to so many different people. Uh, I think that BIM will mean different things to different people really depending on what part of the industry you're in. Uh, it adds value for our clients over more traditional methods of information production. As a designer, BIM helps us coordinate and align the information we produce. That improved accuracy improves the construction process and ultimately the finished building. For a contractor like McLaren, BIM is a way of managing information and delivering data to our customers. And I think actually what BIM means to me has probably changed over the years. You know, if I went back maybe you know, 18 years ago, BIM for me was very much about better coordination, probably about better coordination, if you like, of geometry. And now it then started to move, if you like, a transition towards better information management. And I think that's where we're at today. I believe that BIM is about managing information in a smarter way. This will enable richer insight to enable better decisions to be made, leading to better outcomes for businesses and communities. The M of modelling, it isn't just 3D models, it could be business models, financial models, capacity models, all sorts of different things. So again, it's that information part that is the most important, I believe. But I think BIM has never been so important if we think about a very secure information management landscape, and that's hugely important to our business. As you have heard, BIM means different things to different people, depending on their role, discipline and organisation. It's not any specific software or just the 3D model. It encompasses the use of a shared digital representation of a built asset to facilitate design, construction and operation processes to form a reliable basis for decisions, as defined in ISO 19650-1. Now let's take a look at the next video in the series, which is all about adopting BIM.